Hey, welcome to Jelly Space. Here's our project for today. We're going to install this ZWO autofocuser onto our SV Bounty. So let's get started. ZWO EAF. That's what it looks like. So we'll set that here. And we have a series of collars uh, that will mount onto the actual focuser uh, shaft. So, go ahead and get one of these out. They all have different sizes for different size shafts on the focuser. And then, um, so that one's a little bit bigger, and that one's a little bit smaller. So, that side will go on the actual motor, and the other one will go on the shaft of the focuser. And then it has a little bit of a spring to it, and it's just to account for any variations or anything uh, between the two. And then we have our physical mount, and then all of our hardware and washers. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is rotate the focuser assembly around so it's facing up. I'll just lock it down so it kind of holds it in place for us. So there we go. I'll take the lock screw out, set that in our parts tray, and I'm going to take this focuser knob off. There's a couple of screws down in here. Uh, set screws, they're grub screws is what they call them, but they hold that in place. We'll just loosen that up. There should be another one. There it is. Loosen that up, and this should just slide right off. So we'll set that off to the side, and we'll verify our fit of our collar. So there we go. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave that on there loose for now, and kind of get everything mounted on here and make sure it's gonna fit. So I'll just kind of check for general fitment, and I'm gonna remove these grub screws and these mount holes right here. I'll just free up a place for the mounting bolts. So. And then we'll check our screw to make sure we have the right size, the right thread pitch and everything. I'll just try it by hand first. That is perfect. bracket mounted in here. And just remember, always start your bolts by hand. Get them in a few threads. And we're just going to run these down. We don't want that to interfere with the uh, other focuser here. So we're going to mount it right there at the edge. super tight just a little bit to kind of hold it in place and then we'll check our fit with the actual motor and we'll get our other two bolts Washer. And again, start those by hand.
And again, I'm not really tightening any of this stuff down so that I can still kind of move it and adjust things accordingly and then get this collar right here kind of centered up in between the two shafts. The stepper motor is very strong so it's not going to really allow us to move this once we lock these grub screws down. So we're going to lock this down onto the shaft of the motor, put it back on, rotate the actual shaft of the focuser to get it lined up with the position of this collar. So we'll just rotate this once we get this locked onto the main shaft of the motor, rotate this until it falls into position and then lock it onto the shaft and we should be finished. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back off, mount the collar right here onto the shaft. So let me just kind of get that screw tightened up and we'll take this back off. So we want to make sure that the shaft does have a, uh, a flat part on it uh, and this is lined up with that flat part so we'll tighten that down snug doesn't have to be crazy tight you don't want to break the allen wrench or anything there we go just like that side. There we go. All good there. And we can kind of look at where those are at and line up that spline here with that then we can put our screws back Okay, and then we'll tighten up that last grub screw. And we're gonna slowly tighten it up while we kind of wiggle back and forth to make sure we're finding the flat part on the uh, shaft on the telescope side. And we can see we left these bolts loose so we can see the motor rotating so we know we are on that flat spot. So we can go ahead and tighten that up. That should be good. And we'll just find kind of the Happy middle there, and tighten these last two up.
Whoop. There we go. That is solid as can be. Now we actually gotta get power to the motor, turn it on, test it out. Okay, so once you get everything mounted and secured, uh, hook it up to your USB, to your computer, uh, and then you are simply going to make sure you got your ASCOM drivers installed or the ZWO and drivers installed, and then boot up your software and give it a move command and make sure it works. Looks like we're good to go. That's it, pretty simple.